SPX zero DTE options have surged in popularity in recent years, with average daily volume increasing more than five times to a high of 2 million contracts this year, now making up over 60% of all SPX options traded. To put that in context, that's over 1.2 trillion notional trading daily in SPX options that expire the same day. What's driving this incredible growth in zero DTE trading? Increased utility is certainly one factor, as daily expiries allow traders the ability to manage risk more precisely. The low dollar premium of zero DTE options make these a cheap way to express directional or tactical views, while the high volatility risk premium embedded in these options have made them an attractive target for yield seekers. Beyond that, wider adoption is another big driver. Retail options trading has surged since the pandemic on the back of zero commissions, increased education, and wider access. Which leads to the inevitable question, just how big has retail gotten in SPX zero DTE trading? While a difficult question to answer precisely, we estimate that retail or small individual traders make up roughly 50 to 60% of SPX zero DTE trading currently, while larger institutional traders make up the remaining 40 to 50%. That retail share has grown significantly in recent years, with volumes up over seven times since the pandemic. Another question we get asked often is what are retail and institutional investors trading? Turns out the two groups deploy very similar strategies. About half of all opening trades from either groups are in outright puts and calls, with the rest in multi-leg trades. Of those, institutional investors trace slightly more vertical spreads, while retail is more active in iron condors and butterflies. How they trade, however, can be quite different. When we examine their intraday trading patterns, we see that institutional investors are much more aggressive in opening positions at the beginning of the day with activity trailing off significantly after the first 30 minutes. In contrast, retail investors are active both at the start as well as the end of the day. Retail traders are also more dynamic, trading in and out of positions quickly and throughout the day, while institutional investors tend to leave positions open for longer. What has been notable is just how disciplined retail investors have been in trading zero DTE options, with over half of all opening trades having a max loss of under $2,000. That is pretty impressive when you consider the notional size of one SPX contract is over $600,000. In contrast, over 60% of institutional opening volume are in trades with a max loss of 20,000 or more. Retail traders are able to keep a very tight leash on their risk exposure through either outright long options or by selling options through tight spreads. For example, the most commonly traded vertical spread width is just five points wide, i.e. a max loss of just $500. The discipline risk management along with the growing sophistication in trading strategies are some of the key drivers that we see behind the surge in retail SPX zero DTE trading.